Ranked. Sid Meier, Civilization IV, Colonization. Your ultimate goal is to, you know, start a colony in the New World and uh, then break free from your overlord. It's similar to basically what uh, the English colonies did when they formed the United States of America here. No Portugal. We do have the Dutch, though. Uh, the Dutch share a common mercantile advantage, which means that market prices are less sensitive. And each leader also has an advantage of their own. Uh, Peter Suivesen there gets extra hammers in all of his settlements, allowing him to build things quicker. And Vanderdonk, uh, his taxes uh, increase far slower. English here, they're tolerant, so they need fewer crosses for immigration. George Washington uh, can equip soldiers easier, whereas John Adams generates extra liberty bells. French Samuel de Champlain, uh, both of these are cooperative, which makes natives more cooperative, and it's easier to live amongst the natives. Uh, Samuel here, uh, Samuel, Samuel, uh, has faster native conversion rate for missions. You can set up missionaries uh, in native settlements that generate convertive natives for you. And then Louis here, he uh, gets a free promotion on his mounted units and gunpowder units. The Spanish here, whom I like to play as, Conquistador, gives them extra strength versus natives. Simon here gets an extra modifier of Liberty Bells on Rebel Strength whenever he declares independence. Whereas Jose here needs 50% 50 less, exper 50 less experience points for unit promotions, overall making his units far stronger. Uh, this is an official uh, conversion of... basically is a full conversion mod. Uh, created by Firaxis Games for the Civilization IV engine. Uh, there still is the engine in the background with the absolutely horrendous <laughs> combat mechanic. But, uh, yeah. This is colonization, you know, as portrayed within the Civilization IV user interface. I like playing as Simon here. He is my favorite leader. I really enjoy that determined strength. It makes, uh, independence declarations easier. So we're gonna go ahead and say, okay. I'm going to go ahead and stick with that. That's fine with me. Uh, difficulty level. I'm doing this a little bit lower than what I do comfortably, which is Patriot, just because I'm live recording. Uh, and I'm going to set the game speed to normal. That's fine with me. I like the Western Hemisphere huge scenario map the most, just due to its size. Otherwise, I think these maps are just too small. I just like the size of them. And yes, Simon Bolivar has quite the epic amount of hair on his head and face. Right. So, Simon Bolivar, I expressed his traits that he already has. Uh, in the year 1492, His Royal Majesty the King of Spain grants you a colonial charter. For the greater glory of the nation, the king dubs the Grimmith Viceroy of the New World. Explore this new land, settle it, and bring wealth and glory upon yourself and upon our great nation. To achieve a victory, found your colony, Declare your independence from your motherland after obtaining a 50% rebel sentiment in all your settlements. Defend your fledgling colony from the wrath of your motherland by wiping out all their ground forces. And you must complete your revolution before any other European colony. Now this is a bit of a smaller resolution that I'm used to playing and just for the comforts of live broadcasting. I also got to remember that WAZ does not scroll. I'm used to playing Banish now. So yes, here we are here. We start with a caravel. Uh, because we are Spain, we start with a soldier, a veteran soldier, and we have a free colonist there. Uh, we start here basically at the eastern edge of the map, and we're going to head towards beautiful sweet land to colonize. This is our Europe screen. The interface looks a bit larg because of just uh, the small resolution that I'm playing at. 1280 by 720, it's a bit... It's not the most suitable for this game. So what I'm going to do here is, since I know the scenario map and I know where Spain comes at around, I'm uh, going to sail towards land. You can, which in this case is over here. How about that? I'll choose this spot. I think it has been some time since I played this map. Yeah, it's a good spot. Now settlements in this game. Uh, unlike, say, Civilization 4 cities, or, you know, Civilization cities in general, can only work the, the tile that they're on, and then the 
the eight tiles surrounding it. While you can have cultural expansion through Liberty Bells, a settlement can never work any more tiles than that. So here, we've got some bananas, which means it's good food production, and we've got some iron, which allows this grassland tile here uh, to possibly produce some ore there, which is useful for making tools, which you need to help produce buildings. Now, your settlement tile will be able to work everything, so I'll get four food and four tobacco from this per turn. However, whenever you have a citizen work these other tiles, you don't get everything through them from them. You have to choose one benefit. So here, I can only pick four food, four tobacco, or three iron. Three ore. Here, I can only pick two food or three ore. Uh, as a result, it forces you to strategize uh, which you want to uh, end up picking in the situation. Anyway, that takes care of the first turn, 1492 AD. We've already landed on the New World. We've met General George Washington. There will be peace in our time, George. Now, because I've seen his caravel right here, that means he's pretty fucking close by. Closer than what I would have thought. I thought I knew the scenario map fairly well, but I suppose I don't. Anyway, I'm going to use one of these units here to go ahead and build a settlement. Uh, he's actually going to be my veteran soldier here. Since you are a small band of nomads, we welcome you to partake of the land around you. Thank you, Toopy. I appreciate it. He's pretty close by. We built the settlement of Isabella. Maybe we aren't exactly where I thought we would be. Interesting. And as for what I want to build here in the settlement first, I think it's going to be a dock. Docks allow water tiles to generate two extra food, but then again, there is only one water tile here. That's, uh, usually I end up building my first settlement with uh, quite a bit of water around it. I don't know if I want to build anything else right now. I'll think about it. So we'll keep that for now. And now this veteran soldier, he's joined the settlement, and he's working a thing. In this case, this game thinks that you want to have food for your settlement. And I'm like, well, maybe I do. In that case, sure, I'll generate food. Except for the fact that I'll generate lumber instead. And do I want to have them immediately improve tiles? No, I don't. I'm going to move that pioneer into the settlement, and I'm going to put it in this carpenter shop. Now this soldier here, he's chopping down lumber. He's getting me lumber per turn. And I can convert lumber into hammers through the carpenter shop. So our free colonist here, he's sitting in our carpenter shop. He's using some of the lumber that we're generating, but we're still getting surplus. And he's generating hammers, which is production, which is used to build that dock far quicker. Hmm. I must be in the Caribbean. I usually, I thought this, I thought I actually got put down in, like, South America. Maybe I uh, just don't remember this scenario map very well. Huh. Maybe it does have a uh, more random placement than what I thought it did. Oh, well. Well, George Washington's got to be pretty close by. Not exactly sure where I am on this map. I tell you what. Hmm. Not in any ru real rush to get back to Europe just yet. Doesn't mean I can't be. Go ahead and explore around a little bit around me. Uh, I don't. I have a lack of land around here. The natives do get upset whenever you try to settle uh, near them. They'll demand money. And if you refuse to pay them, they will get very, very angry. Nah. I don't really see the need to uh, rename cities. It's not that fun for me. This, of course, is the eastern edge of the map. There's the Dutch with their merchantmen. That's what they get to start with. That's their advantage. They have a merchantman, which has twice the space of a caravel. Hi. How are you? Nah, I, I can figure out how to sail to fucking Europe, thank you. 
I'm not concerned about it right now. Uh, where exactly you go to Europe on this grid is where you actually get spat back out. And I will be heading uh, back to Europe momentarily. But I just want to fiddle around with exploring a few tiles first. Oh. Aha. Aha. Right in my face. You're dead. You're dead. Die. You're fucked. There, there is no other possible outcome here. We're getting money, and I'm going to kill every single one of them. Prices are adjusting already. Alright, we got an expert farmer. Uh, we generate crosses, one per turn. We would generate more if we had people working in church. Uh, and it was 0 of 5, and now it's 0 of a 6. I'm going to need a lot of money to do things that I want to do to those bastards, but this expert farmer is really going to help the situation. Alright, next up. We're generating tobacco leaves, which is all fine and well. Uh, we got ourselves a dock, and I like docks, and I like dry docks, and I like shipyards after that. This settlement won't get much advantage out of them. I'll probably end up building a new Amsterdam, because I like to build ship of the lines. And we'll talk more about that later. Now... We're generating plenty of food. What we're actually going to do is start taking all this tobacco that we've accrued up, and start making cigarettes. And we'll slowly build a warehouse. Now we're going to come in here, and this guy is going to get to work farming. Now, he's an expert farmer, which means that uh, he vastly magnifies the amount of food that he produces. For example there, he's producing a whopping ten food, which is more than capable of feeding people. More than capable. I'm going to take these cigarettes and take them back with me. Right there. Ugh. How obnoxious. George Washington's right there. What the fuck, game? <laughs> what? I've never had this happen. What the fuck kind of map is this? Alright. 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 I have to see this. I have to see this. Okay, yeah, I'm here. This is actually where, yeah, okay, this is actually the same spot. And George Washington and the Dutch, rather than getting putting anywhere else along this coast, anywhere else, are right here with me. I've never had this happen on this map before. This is a huge map! This is unacceptable. Alright. Alright. We can fix this. Because if I just kill them, that's going to eliminate all the challenge at all. And you better believe I'm going to do everything in my power to kill these guys. I am going to forcibly relocate them. Ah, jeez. Look, I don't know where I want to put you. That is pretty far. We are all pretty close. Fuck it, I'll just kill him. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll just kill him. I'll just kill him. Or I'll try to, rather. Alright, we sold our six cigarettes at nine six cigars at nine each for fifty-four gold. That's not exactly a whole lot. We got a Jesuit missionary here. 
He's not really gonna help us. I would much prefer to proc other more useful people. God. I'm actually thinking of just restarting this. I just... There's no fucking way. There is no fucking way. Either that or I move these guys. I would like a few cannons. Before I tried to kill any of them. So we're gonna get a few cannons. Fuck you. I would normally pay that, but I need every little single gold piece I can have right now. I'm gonna kill every one of these tons of bitches. And I'm gonna need cannons for that. With cannons you can. Normally you can have these Jesuit missionaries, and they're really good at creating missions, giving you convertive natives. I don't have time for natives. There is no time for natives. You. Produce tobacco. We could do something a bit better and make a tobaccoist shop instead, which would make our cigar production far quicker, but it's fine. We're not concerned about it right now. Every single one of these bastards is going to have to die. I don't have any scouts. I'm not going to take a look at the map. You can go to hell and die in a fire. I've never had this happen to me at any other time I've played colonization. Ah, oh, God. The absolute obnoxiousness of the situation. It's obnoxious. Each cannon costs a fucking arm and a leg. So I'm not going to buy them yet. I'd like to find some treasure that I'm not going to find until I, uh... Well, actually explore the map. And I'm not exploring the map because I don't have any scouts. He's already got two settlements, because of course he does. I have a veteran soldier here. Jeez. Because keep in mind, the AI have bonuses too. The AI is most certainly stronger than I am at the start of this situation. It's ridiculous. They sell this tobacco as well. I never fucking... I've played this scenario maybe like... Four times? And I've always had the AI appear further down the coast or in North America. I've not had one of them, let alone two. This is a situation where I'm live broadcasting. And so they're like, Hey! Hey, Grimoth! Hey! Hey, Grimoth. Hey, I got an idea, Grimoth. I got an idea, Grimoth. You're gonna love this idea. What if... Oh, now hear me out here, Grimoth. What if... Oh, now really listen here. I want Peter Minuet as well. Alright, you can come on board. I know, it's a Civilization 4 engine game, and so it's figured out a way to troll me. So, petty criminals. Petty criminals do not really do manufactured goods, and they certainly don't do liberty bells, crosses, or education. Liberty bells determine rebel sentiment. You need rebel sentiment in order to declare a revolution. Crosses encourage immigration. Education is if you're going to re-educate these bastards. And manufactured goods, it's best to put these petty criminals out on the fields. Alright, and I got an indentured servant, that's cool. Alright, so you, you generate tobacco for me. You, you're gonna create liberty bells. You're like, why are you creating liberty bells? I have my reasons, trust me. I need liberty bells in order to try to get a founding father that I want, and if I can get that founding father, and I haven't really even explained the Founding Fathers mechanic, and I'm probably not going to. I am so excited right now. After this, we're actually just going to generate political points. I'm going to kill every single one of my enemies. Oh boy. We're just going to keep selling tobacco and cigars back to Europe for the time being. The king is annoyed at me. Because I refuse to kiss his ring and send him 50 gold. And he's just going to have to get over it. I have no time. Come here. We're going back. I don't even think the French are on this map! Like, I think we just ended up in a situation where we rolled more Native Americans, and we ended up without any French. I think that's factually correct. There is no French player. No! No, he's actually on this map! Oh, there you are! Oh! Oh, I'm glad! 
I'm glad you're actually away from me. I'm glad you aren't in my face. Why aren't you down here too? Just to piss me off. I'm not even mad. <laughs> I'm fascinated. Alright, so... Indentured Servant. They're just... They're not as rubbish as petty criminals. So you... You get out here in the fields too. And you give me more tobacco. We're still feeding our people plenty with, uh, with that expert farmer. Normally I'd, like, buy some horses and I'd make some scouts and I'd scout around the map and I'd visit all the Native Americans and I'd get gold and treasure and I'd find ruins and stuff, but no. No, this is a special case, folks. This is a special case. I'm just going to slowly build up my money here. Go to hell. The higher the difficulty of the game, the more requests he makes. And the angrier he gets, the more requests he makes. I'm just going to crush you with my culture. How do you like that? And now he's already alarmed and adding more units to the expeditionary force. A, because he's mad. And B, because I'm generating rebel sentiment here by producing liberty bells. It happens. Maybe I'll culturally crush him. Maybe I don't even have to kill him. Maybe I'll just fucking consume his culture. You get nothing. Should have stayed there. How, how, how much further away am I from accruing this guy? Close. I just need more political points. Oh, an expert lumberjack. Damn, that would have been useful to have him. I should have waited the turn. Expert lumberjack. There we go. Good. That's who I wanted. Peter Minuit reduces the cost of recruiting units in Europe by 25%. But in order to get him, you need a certain number of political points and a certain number of trade points. You get political points by either like building those or producing Liberty Bells. You get trade points by trading with Europe. And so he's going to make recruiting units in Europe cheaper, which means that those cannons that used to cost 500 now cost 375. Yeah. Well, you just keep making those soldiers, buddy. You just keep making those soldiers. Yeah. Right. So I don't really need to build any more uh, political points here. Uh, what I'm going to do now is... I'm going to build this tobacconist shop. It'll uh, make my production of cigars far better. I also really don't need to generate any more Liberty Bells, but I still want to generate stuff here. So I'm actually going to have this guy just be a lumberjack. And that's, well, not a lumberjack, but he's going to convert lumber into hammers. At least who still work on tobacco. As I'm going to kill every single one of these bastards. Except for France. New France gets to survive. Everyone else is GTFOing. Yes, you're going to train people, yes. You do that. Oh, I'm going to have to buy another ship. I hate to buy another ship unless it's a strong ship, too. Because I'm not going to be able to fit all these things in this one little caravel. <laughs> well, there's no... Yes, there is an immediate rush, damn it. Ah, but that's a lot of gold to just suddenly... Ah. Patience. Is for the weak! You also notice that the price of cannons is going up. Get on that boat! <laughs> I hate buying a second caravel. So dumb. I'd much prefer a stronger ship, but... Desperate times here. Desperate times. And you, uh... 
Well, for the time being, you can just... Uh... Oh, no. Just go back to Liberty Bells for a turn. I'm not worried about making a mission. Not yet. No. No, you can't recycle a ship. You. You. Everyone. Off the boat. You get to work. Get me some lumber. You, Jesuit missionary, your job is to produce hammers. Should you choose to accept it. You get back to farming, because I want to... You get to 200 food, you get another citizen. That's good. This caravel, his job is to continue selling things back to Europe. This caravel will be exploring. I'm just going to automate that process, because I don't give a damn. Actually, soldier. That's right, I'm going to leave the settlement undefended. Because I'm crazy. And no, not you. Uh, hmm. Damn. We're going to produce fewer tobacco leaves. Fine, just do it that way. We'll just produce lots of lumber. And then the lumberjack can work in the carpenter shop. All right, everyone. Ah, look at the AI here. They're like, get guns! For the love of God, get guns! <laughs> the AI knows. The AI's probably gonna beat me. That being said, you, I was here first. MINE! <laughs> Look at all these nice things that he's built for me already. Man. So nice. We've already got a dock. We've already got a lumber mill. We've already got a rum distillery. Oh man, this is awesome. I like you. Uh, for the time being, why don't we just focus on that? That's fine with me. And he's built one more settlement. Don't worry, George Washington. You'll have your turn. And now, because of greatly, so greatly upset the king, by constantly refusing to give him things, he's like, All right, buddy. It's time to increase your tax rate. I'm taking 5% of everything you sell in Europe. Or, you're never selling cigars here again. You're gonna have to sell them to the natives. Have to sell them to the other AI. Oh, what's that? You're going to kill most of the other AI? What's that? The natives aren't really interested in cigars, you say? Well, we have a bit of a conundrum here, don't we, Grimoth? Maybe you should kiss this, huh? Maybe, if you just paid me off a bit, maybe this wouldn't be so high. Maybe I wouldn't be so pissed at you. And I'm like, ah, shit, King Fine. I'm so busy here. You win. Good. You may leave now. So, our units have promotions which is sweet, and we're totally going to increase the settlement attack. Which makes them stronger than ever at attacking settlements. And what do you know? With these guys, I'm going to attack settlements. With this guy, I'm going to give him... You know, I was, probably, I was thinking about actually giving him a uh, surgeon promotion to, like, speed up units, but I think, I think I'm going to give him a Grindir promotion as well. But you know, why not give him another one? Yeah. Yeah. It's going to take you guys two turns to heal there, or one turn in the settlement. You go ahead and heal. You heal too. And we can build this world together, standing strong forever. Nothing's going to stop us now. Hmm. New person next turn? I'm actually going to have this Garavel wait here, then. 
All right, you're fully repaired. If you could, uh... Oh! The Dutch, they have themselves a founding father. They took one of the other very, very powerful starting founding fathers. Minus 50% travel time to Europe. You're noticing that my ships take two turns to go from the New World to Europe, and then Europe back to the New World. Bam! Only one. Unfortunately, the Dutch won't be able to make that much of a use out of them. On account of the fact that I'm going to crush his skull. It's gonna happen, and it's gonna be pretty awesome. Unfortunately, I won't have the advantage of surprise like I did in my own territory, but we'll just have to get over it. Cannons are almost all the way flushed out. I'm just going to move this guy out of the stack there as well. If uh, the Dutch have settled anymore, they've done it uh, further inland, like this other settlement here. I know. Thank you. I appreciate that. I was waiting for the free colonist game. And I could hurry up this expert fisherman, but you know what? Ah, I can't afford it. Damn it. Expert fisherman would be uh, pretty nice for generating uh, food. He would have vastly speed. On the other hand, I'm going to have a lot... Ah, damn. Maybe. I'll think about it. My first commitment, though, is to winning the wars. It's kind of a big deal. New Amsterdam is out of rebellion here. We have a... <laughs> master Weaver! Because, of course, your one settler is a Master Weaver. Why not, right? And, uh, the wagon train doesn't really matter here. Uh, but you can go ahead and produce that anyway, slowly. Make it slow. Make it happen. Hello, Taco Man. Welcome to I'm About to Fucking Kill Beat, bitches. It's gotta be awesome. All right, caravels can't really visit with settlements. We'll just keep going. So. So. I don't think that's really going to save you, the wagon train. Spoiler alert. Yeah. And we got ourselves a free colonist here for our troubles, because our population has grown to be so vast. We're going to send him to kind of explore for us. Oh, man, I'm just going to walk all over this. <laughs> yeah, let's keep the settlement, baby. Tons of sugar here, and I captured his wagon train, too. Put this sugar in the back. We're taking the sugar, and we're selling it. Yeah. Put it in the bag. Put it in the bag. <laughs> Put it in the bag. Don't know what I want to build here next. Probably gonna be something like a church, maybe? Because all these other things require tools, and I just don't have any tools here right now. Armory. I like armories to build cannons. No. Let's make another wagon train. I know. Sweet. Literally. Hey, you! Hey, buddy! Allah! Go ahead and just remove that problem for you. I like free colonists. Now, the Dutch aren't instantaneously eliminated. Uh, I think once you, like, no longer have a settlement, like, after, like, turn 100, then you're eliminated. However, the Dutch, they're doing all right right now. I'm going to think of it, Dutch. You know, if you want to end this war, that's fine with me. Why would you be willing to pay me? Your world map in 80 gold? I think we're done here. It's nice doing business with you. Thanks. New Netherlands thanks you and your petty little colony. Look at how much they explored for me. Yes, all of these natives I have to visit. Now they've claimed all these bonuses of like treasure and whatever, I'm sure, and they have a scout out there or something. I need to buy horses, actually. That'll be the next thing I do. I should have bought horses. No, Mr. Korosu. I'm not getting tired at all. We're still good. Do 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 
Ah, what do I want to do with you? Well, you are a pioneer. You have tools. Uh, making improvements takes money, but, uh... He's already got a farm there. Ah, oh, look at all that sugar. Ah, oh, sweet sugar. Now if I can get, like, an expert sugar guy... Ah, sugar. I know, computer. Sugar. And we can use it to make rum. The best part is that these natives... Well, I mean, they're kind of upset about the fact that I declared war on their friend. But normally they'd be really upset about the fact that you're trying to build other settlements near them. That's not happening right now. <laughs> Well, I tell you what, why don't we just head back here, we'll make something happen. Why don't you take that sugar back there for me, please? Now you, you're a free colonist, that's certainly true. Do we have an enemy here? No, you're just not able to work that tile for because of reasons. Maybe we did have an enemy there, and now he's gone. Or it's probably it was probably taken by the other settlement. Yeah. That was that was the reason. We're doing nothing but just producing tons of food here. It's not exactly the most efficient. I'm not used to having this many settlements so fast, but you certainly can. Um, I'm gonna send you out to get you trained as well, and I might as well send out this missionary too, which means I'll go ahead and send. Well, let's not send out everyone. There we go. We'll send out the missionary and let him do his job. Which is getting me converted natives. Converted natives are nice. Alright, I'm gonna wait for this... No, no, there's no time to wait for that sugar. I mean, it'd be nice, but... No, no time. Okay, I want you to build a road connecting all of this together. And thankfully, the Dutch already did that for us, for the most part. Let's, uh... Ask to speak with the chief. You're in need of guns, and you're learning in the ways of expert sugar planter? No, I didn't even put the guns in the boat. <laughs> Not the guns, the cigars. Didn't even put the cigars in the boat, just sent them right out. <laughs> I made a mistake. It's okay. So basically, I'm not going to be able to sell anything, which is a shame. It'll be fine. You can set up automated trade routes, which I might do in a some time. But I'm a bit busy doing other things. Look, I don't need your fucking pop-ups, game. Quit sassing me. But I'll go ahead and tolerate your pop-ups for now. So we established a Spanish missionary here. Uh, because it's from a Jesuit, that means that converted natives will come out of this settlement far more quickly. Um, the settlement trains, uh, people in expert sugar planter, which is pretty nice. Should probably actually be sending out, uh, should probably send out, like, an indentured servant or something to do that instead. Oh, well. Meanwhile, oh, you got a dragoon. Damn. It's not cool. Well, we kind of fucked up on our whole, like, positioning here. But we can take a cannon back with us. And then we'll sell the goodies. Where are you, Caravel? You just continue to explore. That's fine with me. You keep exploring for me. Now, it costs money to make improvements in this game. With your pioneers. So what do we have here? Oh, we already have an expert sugar planner. That would totally explain why we are swimming in sugar here. Absolutely why. And I had thought that was possible. I don't really have another place that generates a lot of sugar around here. But I can still stick you there. So that'll be fine. Not exactly the best training, but training all the same. What I need are expert distillers, without a doubt. Holy crap. So much sugar. It's gorgeous. Washington has strung together two settlements here. Alright. 
So, hey George. I'll be taking Jamestown, please. Thank you. I'll take your wagon train as well, because it's pretty nice. Not gonna lie. And all of the things that you've built for me already. Oh my goodness! He's already got a tobacconist shop here. Ah, oh, jeez, beautiful. Thanks, George. There I got that warehouse thing. Oh, man. George, you are the bee's knees. The cat's PJs. You've, you got silver here? Ah, oh, you're mining silver from Plymouth. I know, these folks are so nice. They are so generous with everything. I'm going to keep that guy there because uh, the settlement's already full on sugar. Nope. Well, there went my Jesuit missionary. I think the... Yep, there went my Spanish mission. Bam! Gone. All right. Fine. I'm pretty sure someone paid him. Might even have been, might have even been the Dutch. You've given them guns! You fucking Dutch bastards! You've given them guns! Why? <laughs> Why would you give them guns? <laughs> Why would you do this to me? <laughs> Oh, man. Well, this has certainly gotten much harder. I need one of those, uh... <laughs> I need one of those founding fathers that, like, brings peace with the natives. <laughs> also, I got a lot of military points now. Pocahontas, I need you. <laughs> You're so far away. I don't have enough military to fend off all these natives. They're gonna fucking burn my settlements that I took. <laughs> that I rightfully took. They are rightfully mine, damn it. They're mine. You can't have. Alright, you need to come back. It's gonna take you a long time, but you need to come back. Okay. Uh, we need to heal up. Damn it! You, you traded guns to the natives! I hate you! Bam! Settlement gets raised. You gave them horses! You gave the natives horses! <laughs> Sugarland! No! And of course, they killed the free colonist who was here, training to be a, uh, a sugar planter. <laughs> you gave the natives guns and horses, why? None of us will ever declare independence now. Do you realize this? That's what natives do, by the way. They just outright burn settlements. They don't have time or patience for your shit. They'll just burn the damn things. Well, you still got tons of sugar. It's a pity, but, uh... An expert sugar planner, and the guy I had training to become an expert sugar planner, they're both dead. The Jesuit mercenary, uh, missionary that I put in place is completely wasted, because uh, he's gone. I have my military units out of position here. This native could easily just stroll through and fucking take down New Amsterdam as well. Uh, fucking giving him shit. I know, in France. France is sitting down in Maine. I mean, come on. They, like, placed their shit down right next to mine. What am I supposed to do with that? I could have moved them. God could have moved them. It's true. God could have definitely moved them. Well. Dick. See what happens. Huh.
I mean, I totally settled that land first, and they were clearly gonna fight me about it. Oh no. I guess you did manage to escape. Well, I still lost the mission, I still lost the expert sugar planner. And basically the people who were going to train me are now at war with me. In this war does not end. There will be no peace. Only an eternity of carnage and slaughter and the laughter of the thirsting gods. I definitely do not need wagon trains right now. Just go ahead and make it like political points. What? Who is this? <laughs> you have a seasoned scout there? Fucking AI! Kick this man some horses and make him explore for me, damn it! Alright. Ah, uh, uh, fine. I really wanted to uh, kick out George Washington as well. But you'll give me tons of gold anyway. And we can establish a peace treaty for ten turns. I'll be right with you, George. I'm trying to solve some other problems right now. Of course, that prevented me from attacking that guy. That's fine. It's fine. I'll just take all that money, scoop it up. And, of course, then the fucking bastard just annoyingly places himself there and goes, her 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 her. That's exactly what transpired, by the way. Which means that I'm gonna want to keep a cannon behind. And hopefully survive that. He hopefully shouldn't be able to just fucking straight up attack me and win. Also, I totally forgot to use you guys to do what I wanted. That's fine. We're a bit distracted right now. You know? Things are happening. It's pretty serious shit, and this is not at all what I thought this game was gonna be. Well, it's been eventful. That's for sure. Eventful is totally the way I would describe this game thus far. Alright. There is not a problem that I can't solve with cannons. Put these cannons in a bag. Yeah, you raised the road. Good job. You're a dick. Just go ahead and attack. Uh, we don't obviously win the settlement just yet. We'll totally take it next turn. Hmm, building a lodge there doesn't really help. Actually, me building a farm here actually removes the food as well. Not exactly the best position then. Should have put it somewhere like here. Uh, yes, there are reasons to use soldiers over cannons. Uh, soldiers have advantages versus Dragoons, and you can turn soldiers into Dragoons uh, through buying units of horses. It takes 50 horses in order to make a Dragoon unit. Similarly, it takes 50 guns, or 25 in George Washington's case, to turn a uh, free colonist and like, turn him a soldier. I have a veteran soldier there, which means he's better. He starts off with a uh, combat one, which is pretty nice. And there he goes, just dur -dur -dur -dur. And these natives, they don't really honor, like, open borders. They just shuffle around anyway, because they're boss. It's kind of what they do. It's kind of who they are. If you... They, they can get tons of defense bonuses. It would have been better to kill this guy when he was out here. And all these guys who are just milling around. As they do. Well... Die. Similar, however, I don't exactly want to attack this guy while he's out here because of how much more dangerous he is out here. I also have this guy just fucking dancing around and boogieing. They're probably just going to come up here, raise my stuff, uh, be absolute nuisances because that's what the Native Americans are good at. I also got some treasure that's worth 318 uh, gold. Uh, I don't have a galleon to carry it back, so... I, uh, 
I can just take it to a settlement, and uh, the king will offer to transport it over in exchange for getting half of it. I also got a converted native. Uh, converted natives are pretty good at working the land. Uh, they have a bonus, but uh, they're not so good at working in factories. Yes, the Indian's just boogieing on the ground. Uh, hmm. I don't really have weapons, so I can't really attack these groups. Isabella is under threat. New Amsterdam doesn't have any anything in the way of defense at all. Obviously, the Dutch have uh, made another settlement, as they do. This has certainly been a... An interesting game. <laughs> Let's put it that way. It's been interesting. Yes, I'm aware, but thanks for your hint, game. Uh, hmm. Make cigars for me, I guess. We don't really have much capable in the way of defense. Kind of divided here. Especially when he puts himself in my face like that. Sticking to the jungles, that's what the natives should do. That's the smart idea. This pioneer is under threat now. Unfortunate, but it's the, that's the way it is. And since the natives here have so many settlements, look at how big he is. Jeez. There's going to be a lot of natives that come constantly pouring in. My, uh... My road to independence here is going to be fraught with a lot of hell. Gah. Pain in my ass. Thankfully, thankfully, I'm playing the Spanish. And they get a 25% bonus versus natives. That's a real nice help. Because he is constantly in my face. They gave him guns and horses! <laughs> uh, yes. There is. He doesn't want peace. But, uh, if I get one of the Founding Fathers who ends war with the natives, that would force peace into the situation. Why are you? This has just truly been a unique situation for me. Alright, I'm gonna have to... Uh... No, I got a cannon here. I'm gonna try to protect this land and kick these natives out, I guess. I need to escort people back. So let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, yeah, that's that's all cute and everything. You're doing a good job. You're setting my shit on fire. It's, it's wonderful. It's adorable. And you're presenting yourselves in absolutely aggravating positions. Because they are aggravating as hell. Ah, jeez. Fucking native bastard. How dare you get involved in this European fight? This fight between good Europeans and you're like, Meh. So of course you are. That's your jelly. Your jelly. What we have. This cannon gets off the boat. That way the settlement is protected now. So that's good. You might as well do something else. Just go ahead and fucking fish. So jelly, I'm gonna put you in a donut. Obnoxious native bastards, and I don't like this combat system enough to try to fight them. When they're on 90... But if I won that, then my fucking cannon would just roll up right there on that hill. Just raise everything, fine. Just mad because I fucking ruined your settlement. Because I killed the Dutch. I don't have time for you right now, King. King, I need your help. <laughs> Send help, King! <laughs> King! <laughs> Why won't you... No. I appreciate the offer, but I'm just gonna keep it there for now, please. Thank you. King! Right, so... 
Native here in action gets a plus one. That would just bring nice to uh, anything that he produces out here on the field. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and have him grow food, which is pretty nice. Means I can actually shift here to lumber as well, and we'll continue to produce lumber. Excess lumber, which will, you know, keeps our carpenter shop busy. I'm going to start buying guns. Just arm like my free colonists. They aren't veterans, but uh, damn it, they're something. Try sending this uh, cannon up here to replace my uh, pre experienced one. Alright, you. You moved there. Get off my hill. Okay. Lost that expert sugar planter. Then again, he wasn't really mine anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. Go ahead and take some of the sugar back with me. Might as well sell that. My caravel that I sent exploring is finally coming back, and it's going to help me haul some of these goods and uh, bring other things back. Who is it that got that experience? That was the veteran soldier. He about died in the process. Uh, hmm. Why don't you become a looter? I don't have good odds with attacking the, this guy here. So, uh, I would actually like him to move onto the hill, truth be told. That would make things a bit easier for me. We'll kick out George Washington in a bit. But first, I gotta kick out all these natives. Get him out of my face.